YouTube, we are uh, back in the truck again. We're not in the pig, we're in freedom. Uh, the pig has had some issues with its transmission. I was, on the last run I was on, as I was going through Nevada, I was doing, uh, you know, speed limit. And the, uh, the truck started telling me that it was trying to shift into four wheel drive while I was, you know, at speed and uh, uh, checking on all that stuff. I called a buddy of mine and hit his truck about the same mileage. If you own a Ram 3500, a 2020, uh, that's what I'm gonna speak from because that's my experience. Um, my buddy's tail lights went out the same mileage my tail lights went out. The sensor on the crankcase heater went out at the same mileage. And, um, you know, I had to put the pig in the shop. But I'm in Freedom. We're headed up to uh, Dan Service Center to get an updated DOT inspection, uh, DOT certification, so that we're legal to run. It took me longer to switch trucks than I wanted to. It took me about a week. I didn't have a, a registration for this truck. I had to get a new registration and coordinate and getting the vehicle to shop. It just, you know, a lot of things that delayed me in coming back. But I'm back and we're headed to Indiana. Check out what we're gonna get into next. stopped a little bit at Dan's and uh, just to, to get a DOT inspection but let me show you this this is something that I noticed uh, the last couple of days that needs to get fixed so uh, one of the things I noticed is this this flap is starting to deteriorate and come loose I need to have that fixed so they're gonna take care of that for me as well as a DOT inspection we get that taken care of today and then we'll get through compliance and uh, find us a load and we'll be on our way we're done at Dan's, uh, as always. Dan's Service Center in Elkhart, Indiana. If you don't know that place, you need to go find it because it is the place for all your RV transporting needs. Uh, they do a great job, excellent customer service. You're gonna be on their time schedule, but it's worth the wait. We're going to do a live pickup and then head to Cleburne, Texas. Uh, I've never done a live pickup, so this will be something new for me, and I'll bring you along. Let's go do a live pickup. So, so when you come to Orland to do a live pickup, see that right there? You're going to go in that door and talk to that young woman in that, that building right there. Tell her what unit you're going to pick up, and then uh, she's going to hand you a packet. Like this. And that's your unit packet. Now I'm gonna go find my unit. The weather out here is nasty, sprinkling mist. <coughs> but we found our unit windows. This window was open and uh, now it's shut. But uh, once in a while, you've gotta get inside and shut a window, but this unit looks pretty good. Let's take some pictures and get the heck out of here. Let's go. certainly hope everybody that was involved in this is okay, but I doubt it. It does not look good. That is a nasty, nasty wreck. Y'all stay safe out there. You know how difficult this job is? You know how dangerous this traffic is? Stay safe out there. Keep your eyes wide open. Look at this Texas traffic. Ugh, around Dallas, this traffic is awful. Terrible traffic. Got that one delivered to uh, Cleveland, Texas. And, uh, just a great place to deliver. Headed back up, looking for something else to do. You know how we roll. Uh, been a very uneventful trip, which is the way I like them. I don't have to have a lot going on. Just let me get there safe and let me get home safe. You know, that's sort of the way it goes. Gonna try to roll hot as much as we can long as we can until the weather breaks and then uh, go from there. I will see you all 
down the road. Stay safe, y'all. Well, we got that one delivered to Cleburne, Texas, and uh, called dispatch this morning. Had a load going to early Texas uh, to follow up the Cleburne, Texas one, but the uh, factory recalled it and brought it back for whatever reason. So I do have another load on me, and uh, it is south as well, which um, it's a lot it, fewer miles. And it's going to cost me about 600 bucks versus the Texas load. But uh, the next load I'm going to pick up is to uh, Camden, Arkansas, which is really good because over the last few months, I have not been able to go down and see my in-laws and uh, my wife is gonna be down there. I will be in Camden on Friday making delivery and allow me to reset and spend some time with the in-laws. We headed to Camden, Arkansas. You're getting two loads on the one video. Let's go pick up our load to Camden and go to Arkansas. Oh, the weather has been lousy since we hit Indiana, uh, coming across 70. Uh, if you can find an alternate route, I don't know. Right now, 70 going through Indianapolis is a nightmare coming uh, west. We'll probably go up through Chicago to get that, that load down to Arkansas. Just, I like to go down through Indianapolis but with the construction and everything going on, it's, I don't know, that's not the right route for me. But uh, we're just trying to get up and uh, get to our unit and the, uh, you can see the weather is awful. Hopefully in the morning we get a dry pickup, but we'll just have to wait and see. Woo, this pickup was not cool at all. It was. 43 degrees and raining this morning when I picked it up and oh my goodness but I did sleep good last night because it was nice and cool so there are huge positives in all the negative that goes on oh, let me show you this Mississippi River. Yeah, we got our delivery done to uh, Camden, Arkansas, and I'm right here at Golden's uh, Ford getting my oil changed because uh, we've already got another unit on us. Uh, we'll pick it up on Monday and then head out. Um, I'll probably make a video on that one and try to deliver some sort of insight into this RV transport and life. Um, beautiful weather right here in Arkansas right now. It's about 68 degrees. 40s and 50s at night it's just it's lovely thanks for stopping in and checking on me i uh, hope that you all are doing well staying safe on the road uh winter's coming gather your nuts and put them away 